In this video tutorial we are going to go over how to set up skill routing policies. Skill routing policies are a way for you to ensure that work orders that are supposed to go to specific technicians because of their skill set are actually automatically reassigned to those technicians. So what we're going to look at here, first I'm going to pull up a work order just to show you an example. This particular work order, the same one we talked about in our work order types video, and this one is an, an email issue categorized as uh, applications exchange webmail. And you'll notice down here under policies that this work order was routed because it was an exchange issue to Chris Johnson in this case. Now, if I ever in here for some reason assigned it to someone else and saved it, what's going to happen here, the system knows now that I am violating my skill routing policy. So this this is flagged here now, so you'll notice that this little information icon shows up on your classification and schedule tab, and then it shows up next to the technician field as well, and you can see it says the assigned technician does not match the designated skill routing policy technician. So in one glance you can see that you're violating your skill routing policy and possibly your SLA by having it assigned to the wrong person. So you can always go back and hit apply and revert it back to the proper person who's supposed to be on that type of an issue. So we're going to go and show you how it gets assigned to that person to begin with by going here under tools, administration console, I'm going to expand the help desk node and we're going to go down under skill routing policies. So here I have two different skill routing policies. I have an exchange issues policy and a network issues policy. So for these examples, the exchange issues policy, we'll open it up and take a look because that's the one we were just talking about. Anytime there's a type of applications and a subtype of exchange, those are the only two parameters that I've turned on here, we're going to route it to Chris Johnson. So somebody puts in a new work order, it's going to with these type and subtypes set, it's going to automatically assign it to Chris. If I go and look at my network issues skill routing policy, this one has a type of network, and that's the only criteria selected. So any work order that matches the type of network goes to this network group. And the network group is really just a technician created to look like a group. We'll do a, a video on that as well. So if I want to create another policy, I just hit add. A blank policy comes up. And you might have a CEO policy. You know, you may have a CEO who frequently needs computer help. And so you're going to go in here and you're going to select requester. And you're going to go down and you're going to find your CEO. And we're going to say, just for this example, that Gina is our CEO. So the way I've got this set up now, I'm going to pick my technician. It's going to be Fran. So when I save this, any time a work order comes into my help desk from Gina, it's going to automatically be set to Fran, because I know Fran can handle any problem that Gina is going to throw at her. Now, that might be my CEO policy. I might create another work order policy for high priority. So anytime I have a panicking user who's putting in critical as their priority, I'm going to send that to David Lee because he's great with handling people who are freaking out on their help desk. And as you can see, I can do this for departments, locations, types. I can set it for any of these fields and have it go to a specific technician. So just to kind of show this in action, we'll go back over here, we'll create a new work order real quick, and we'll go under our types, and actually we're going to go under requester, and we're going to select Gina, and see what happens when Gina requests a work order. You'll notice that it automatically grabbed the CEO policy, designated to Nishin as Fran and Roberts, and that's who it assigned it to. So that's a quick example of how you set up skill routing policies. I hope this video has been helpful in uh, explaining that to you, and uh, I hope that you got some benefit from it.